tired of quesadillas and beer and pizza wasn't gonna cut it forever. So I started money in 20 cents. Um, I did my first half marathon in 2011, first marathon in 2012, and then I started in on the triathlons. I've known Andrea since we were both at Davidson, we're the same class, 2003. Um, so we've encountered each other on campus, but we were friends, but not super close friends. But after graduation, thanks to Facebook, everyone stays in touch. And uh, when she did her first uh, triathlon, she started keeping a blog as she trained for her first half Ironman. And I was following it and trying to comment, be supportive. And um, shortly after that, the blog kind of took a turn and it was about this diagnosis, this thing that was happening, very kind of scary um, symptoms that had emerged with not a lot of answers and it took them a good eight months or more to, to figure out what was going on. After my diagnosis, I thought I might be strong enough to do one more triathlon. So I did a, a sprint triathlon um, about two months after my diagnosis and I came at last uh, by an hour. I realized that I couldn't inspire people with my story. Um, and then I just kept riding my track and I kept being able to do what I didn't realize I could do, and so I've done about four marathons and four triathlons and seven half marathons since my diagnosis. Andrea dedicates every one of her races to someone who is battling or has battled ALS uh, that, that has inspired her. She's working on a book. She's um, keeping up with everyone, with their babies. Um, she constantly asks how my mom is doing with her fight against cancer. Um, she's completely present and very intentional with how she's putting her energy um, all towards hope, and it's very, very inspiring. So I hope to raise awareness about ALS and raise money for ALS research. Um, I want to use my journey with ALS to inspire others to appreciate what their bodies can do um, and to live bravely and appreciate um, the gift of life.